Hello, it's uh, Saturday afternoon in lovely, snowy Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I just want to take the opportunity to put together a quick video, talk to you about working with outsourcers. And uh, in the last year, I've done a tremendous amount of work with people on Elance. And as you know, I like to occasionally do some videos to uh, show people some of the little tips and, and things I come across that make my life a lot easier. But... I, you know, I think a lot of people have problems in working with outsourcers because they don't work with them the right way. And this is just a, it's going to be a real short video just because I want to, uh, this is not a very difficult concept. I just wanted to point some things out that might help you. I'm actually working right now on a Facebook application called Bar Slap, which uh, I hope you add it to your Facebook account when I'm done with it. And uh, what Bar Slap essentially does is it allows you to, uh, tell what your favorite bars are and also and there's a whole slapping concept that uh, you'll see when it gets created but in working with outsourcers I found this to be particularly effective as you can see on the screen I am using Google Docs Google Docs is very very valuable I have found um, in fact it's highly essential in working with um, with any outsourcers and I, I've developed sort of a system that uh, I'd like to share with you and it might help you in your future projects but basically what I do is I create a Google Docs spreadsheet uh, just like the one you can see in front of you and from there I share it with my outsourcer uh, and uh, basically I just go through listing the action items and uh, anytime there's a status change uh, actually initially I'll list the action items and then when they've completed it, I make sure that they go in and say I'm done with it or if there need to be future or other questions asked, they can note those in the spreadsheet and then I respond to what they say. So anyway, uh, and, and I break it down by the different parts of the application, I think it's great because I think the one critical issue that I had before I started doing this was accountability and I would have all these things I need to have changed but there was no back and forth means of organization. I see that as a problem when you're working with Elance because there's nothing that's organized. I'm working right now with Renner Coder. Renner Coder, they don't have any organized system for doing something like this too and I would highly encourage them to do so because this has been very beneficial to me. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a quick video, but uh, I just wanted to tell you about this because it's definitely saved me a lot of time, and time is money, and I hope it saves you a lot of time too. So use Google Docs spreadsheets in working with your outsourcers, and that way you can compare feedback on your project. And uh, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll try to get another video out to you guys real soon.